Hey guys, Hot Wheels Turnants. I am here with a casting review of the, today of the Matchbox Alfa Romeo 4C. This is only the second Matchbox review I've done, um, and it's going to be the Alfa Romeo. I love sports cars, supercars, and Alfa Romeo produces some very good looking ones. So nothing really going on the package. It is new for 2015. It doesn't say it on the package. The back um, really just doesn't just gives car names. <clears throat> it is from the Matchbox D case. I know it's from the D case um, because there was a BMW M1 in red, and that's a D case. That's first seen in D cases. So we have to get it cracked. Here it is. Oh dear lord! All right, there it is. This is pretty sporty little car right here. I like it. Tiny little car. Alphas are. Um, I believe, if I remember right, this car's top speed is mid, like 160s, 170s. Um, so definitely got some power in it. Um, I really like this car, so let's take a look. Um, very clean, as usual with Matchbox. Um, oops. Headlights. Uh, alpha logo, tail lights and a license plate, and the alpha logo again. Um, one thing I'm going to point out for you people um, is if you can see here, it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but you can see that there's kind of an extension over on the grill. So you can see there's a black plastic part, and then there's a tampo extension. That tampo extension on the first batch produced did not get put on. Alpha caught it and had it corrected. So if you find one without the Tampo 6 um, extension, um, you found a variation. Um, I really like this. It's in a nice bright red, as most Alphas are. Um, so I have an Alfa Romeo 8C Competa Zion from Hot Wheels. So I'm going to compare them here. Whoa, that's a... Oh, shoot. Did I just crack an air? What? No way. Whoa, 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 whoa. So it's facing the package like this. I turn it around, and this wheel is screwed up. What? What? That's too funny. Man, I wish I'd known it was an air. Oh, man, I'm kicking myself right now. I guess I could have possibly known, but... Whoa. That's a weird air. Wow. So that pisses me off a little bit. I actually don't want an air. So let's flip it around. Wow. Um, you know I didn't switch the wheel. You saw me crack it. That's too weird. Wow. So, let's take a look. One thing I like about the Matchbox better, much more realistic. See on this Hot Wheels, you got this huge back wheel. And Hot Wheels always does this with many other cars. Here on the Alpha, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. Um... On the front end, very realistic front end. I think the Hot Wheels front end is actually a little better. Um, it does a little... I think this one comes to a little more too much of a point. The curve just seems too sharp, sharp, where this one is nice and rounded. So, that's really... I think I like the Matchbox one is definitely better. Hot Wheels, yeah, it's good. But, let's face it, when it comes to cars like this, Matchbox, you hold no flame to Matchbox. Sure... You're better at the Corvettes, but when it comes down for Romeos, it's Matchbox. I really like it. Scale of 1 to 10, 10. I cannot believe that wheel. Sorry, camera cut out there due to low storage. So there it is, an air. Wow. I just can't believe it. So thank you guys for watching. There it is, the Alfa Romeo 8C Competa Zion. It's 4C, my bad. The Hot Wheels is 8C, so 10 out of 10, easily, love this car, um, super cool, so thank you guys for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at fanatic-hotwheels, and see you later, happy hunting.